I'm Bryce Tomlinson from AHeartToWitness.com, and this is Mind Power. Hi, I'm Bryce Tomlinson, and this is How to Solve a Square Root by Hand with No Calculator. For our example, we're going to start out with the number 3. We need the square root of 3. For our calculations, we're going to need that to be a lot longer. We're going to add a decimal point and a whole lot of zeros, paired up and spaced apart. We need to find the largest number that can be multiplied against itself and still be less than or equal to 3. That would be 1. We'll add a decimal point. If we multiply 1 against 1, that would be 1. We need to subtract 1 from the 3 above. That would, of course, be 2. We'll drop two of the zeros from above down below. Now we need a number to divide that by. We need to double the last digit of the number we have above. Since the number we have above is 1, that would be 2. So we need this to be 20 something. The number that we put next to it will also go on top. We selected 7 because 7 times 27 is the largest set of multipliers we can use that would still be equal to or smaller than 200. 7 times 27 is 189. Now we need to subtract that from 200. That would be 11. And now we need a number to divide that by. Once again, we'll start out by multiplying the last digit in 27 by 2. If we multiply that by 2 and carry the 1 over to the 2, that would equal 34. In order to divide that into the 11, again, we have to drop two of the zeros from above. That makes it 1100. And we need another digit next to the 34. It's going to be 340 something. 3 is the largest number we can use because 3 times 343 is still smaller than 1100. 3 times 343 equals 1029. We need to subtract that from 1100 and that would be 71. Once again, we're going to need something to divide it by. So we multiply the last 3 in the 343 by 2. That makes 6 and we carry down the 34. So that makes it 346 again. We're going to drop down two of the zeros from above and we need 346 to be 3460 something. 3462 is the number we've selected because 2 times 3462 is still smaller than 7100. 2 times 3,462 equals 6,924. Once again, we need to subtract that from 7,100, and that equals 176. Now let's go back to our 3,462. If we multiply the last digit, which is 2, times 2, we get 4, and we carry down the 346. So now we have 3,000 464. Now it's going to be time to divide. We need a number next to 3,464 and we need to carry down our zeros again. Since 34,640 anything won't go into 17,600, we're going to need a zero on top. This process can be continued until you can reach a divisor that can be multiplied into a whole number that is equal to the number you're trying to divide. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.